chapter we will learn about how are clouds formed clouds are formed when water vapors are converted into liquid water droplets by the process called condensation as the air becomes cool these tiny droplets remain floated in the air and appear as clouds you hang out the wet clothes out in the sun and when you come back it's dry you set out a container of water for birds to drink and when you look again after some times the level of water decreases even when there is no bird visitor the water from wet clothes and container gets evaporated the evaporation is the process by which the liquid water gets converted into gaseous form called water vapor and goes into the atmosphere Water from larger reservoirs or water bodies such as lakes, rivers, ponds, oceans, pools, etc. also gets evaporated and adds to the atmospheric air in the form of water vapor. When water absorbs heat energy from the sun, the molecules become energetic and escape from the liquid phase into gaseous phase. The warm air starts to rise above because the warm air is lighter and less dense than the air present around it when the air containing water vapor rises further it cools down and convert it to form tiny water droplets the process of conversion of water from gas to liquid phase is called condensation the tiny particles such as dust microorganisms salt crystals from sea etc floating around air helps in the process of condensation these particles act as a catalyst and provide surface for the process of condensation these tiny water droplets remain floating in the air and appear as clouds the tiny water droplets in the cloud join together to form bigger water droplets the windy movement causes the cloud particles to collide with each other as they become heavy they form rain bearing clouds the process of condensation plays an important role in bringing water back to the earth's surface only certain amount of water vapor can be held by the air depending on the temperature and moisture present in air clouds are formed by different ways some clouds are formed when air near the earth's surface warms up and rises above Some clouds are formed when the wind blows in the side of mountain range. Clouds are also formed when air is moved upwards at the areas where atmospheric pressure is low. In this chapter we will learn about how much water do we use. Water is the fundamental and most essential substance required for the existence of life on earth. Water is required to carry out many activities essential for day-to-day -day life processes. Water is used for different purposes such as to carry out various domestic activities for agriculture in industries and to generate electricity. About 15% of water is used to carry out domestic works. It includes drinking, cooking, bathing, washing clothes and utensils, cleaning and others. About 70% of water is used to irrigate crops. Plants need water to grow. they consume water during the process of photosynthesis water is also necessary for gardening fisheries and other farming activities water is an essential resource in industries it is used to bring down the temperature of equipment used in manufacturing products in industries water is used for processing cooling diluting products and processing Maximum amount of water is required for the production of food, chemicals and paper. Water is also used to generate electricity. In thermal power plants, water is boiled to produce steam which in turn generates electricity. In hydroelectric power plants, the falling water rotates turbine blades which spins the generator that converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy. In human body, Water transports oxygen and nutrients to all the cells. It also removes the toxins and waste products from the body. About 2/3 of the total earth's surface is covered with water. It is tasteless, odorless, 
and transparent molecule composed of oxygen and hydrogen. About two glasses of water are required to produce each page of a book. It is important to maintain the adequate amount of water in the body. During the process of digestion, breathing and sweating, body loses water content. Therefore, it is important to drink water regularly. In this chapter, we will learn about loss of water from plants. Transpiration is the process by which plant loses water in the form of water vapors through the leaves and other aerial parts. Transpiration is the evaporation of excess water from the leaf surface. It is the process to remove the extra water from the plant body. Plant absorbs plenty of water from the soil but only small amount of it is used in growth and developmental processes. Most of the absorbed water is eliminated in the form of transpiration. The transpiration can occur either through leaves or branches of the tree. When the stomatal pores present on the leaf surface are open, water is evaporated. Maximum water gets transpired through stomata. Evaporation can also occur from the pores present in the branches. But very less amount of water is transpired this way. The rate by which transpiration occurs is affected by various internal and external factors. Internal factors include leaf orientation, water available in plant and numbers of stomata. External factors include light, temperature, humidity and wind speed. Transpiration plays many important roles in plants. It helps to conduct water and minerals to the different parts of the plant. This process helps to maintain the cell shape and rigidity to provide support. It maintains the turgidity and helps in cell division. The transpiration maintains the average temperature of the plant by providing cooling effect. Due to continuous process of transpiration, the balance of water is maintained within the plant. If the water absorption from the soil is slower, the rate of transpiration also slows down. Lots of energy from plants is released during the process of transpiration. Sometimes plants absorb excess of water which is unnecessary. If excess of water gets accumulated in plant cells, the cells will eventually burst. Now it is the time to explore it by doing yourself only. In this video, we have learnt about loss of water by plants. In the next video, we will learn about the new things. I will take your leave. Till then, bye bye.